Hello, veteran 2 in here, welcome back, and this is another episode of Dragon Quest 4. What happens if we go this way? Oh. Shortcut? Oh, alright. Takes us right out. It's pretty handy. So, uh, what now? It's like there's a castle over there. I must venture to say that that is probably where we need to go next. It's a purple castle, too. That means it must be evil, right? Or not? It certainly looks evil. Oh, man. A cheater cheetah. Hmm. Alright, took a pause break. And, uh, well, I took a couple week pause break. And what we need to use for this area is actually an item that was originally in Dragon Quest 3. I've been playing that game re recently. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and appraise it, actually. Let's have Torneco appraise it. So yeah, we can't sell it, but we can use it. And we can turn our party into muscly men. Right, okay. Let's try using it again. Okay, slimes, that works. Yeah, for this, uh, for this particular place, we want to actually turn ourselves into monsters. That way we can actually talk to monsters. And they're welcoming us to the Diabolic Hall. get some barrels to break and we can talk to other monsters now you small humans hmm those humans might be closer than you think many metals are always nice though come on come here lady <laughs> Whatever. That's why she's running around in a circle. She's afraid she's going to get fat and the monsters are going to eat her. Wow. Yeah. Pretty crazy. Yeah, I forgot to do party talk. Damn it. Nah, I think we'll be alright. But yeah, if we talk to that guy as humans, he'll just attack us, which is obviously not a good thing. Ooh, now we're lions. Yeah, definitely easier said than done. Hey, guy. The conference room? They're having a conference? Of course they don't have an idea of who we are. We look like monsters right now. Duh. What? A skeleton that's alive. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I 
Come on, admit it, Ragnar. You were a little scared there. Yeah, Maya calling somebody else a crazy person, that's, that's good, I like that. <laughs> no, Maya, you are the crazy person. You are the craziest one out of all of us. No, I don't want to be an old hag. No, I don't want to be a nun. No, I don't want to be a frickin' casino guy. Okay. That's better. What's in here? Uh, where the fuck am I? Oh. Oh, there's a guy out here. Whatever. Not if we can help it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think I got this stuff, did I? Yeah, I'm just kind of going back and forth missing stuff, aren't I? What the hell is a Lucidia shard? I can't remember what this does. Okay, anybody could wear it. I'll hold on to that for now, I don't know what it does, but it might be nice, maybe. Anywho, I wonder why there's a hole in this wall here. I mean, it doesn't make it really hard for prisoners to escape once they get out of those iron bars. I don't think I went down here yet. Oh. I see. Oh! What the hell is this? Damn it, I don't want to be a fucking nun. Just turn me into a nice, nasty monster. Okay, there we go. That's better. Greenhorns? No. I don't think so. Long, long ago, Estark, Emperor of Monster Kind, evolved into his ultimate form. 
But the dragon god of Zenithia was scared of Estark's new power, so he sealed him away deep underground. Estark, huh? You mean that same guy I fought in Dragon Quest V? In that bonus dungeon? I think it's probably the same guy. So, no, we don't want to, no, what the fuck, I didn't want to talk to him, I just, ah, uh, whatever, we're going to fight this guy and kick his ass. Yeah, I, I did not intend to fight that guy there, I just intended to back up and go the other way, but instead, the game decided to, um, get me in a fight, and I didn't want to be fighting. And yeah, I should be using the mod rod here. It's kind of annoying that it wears off. I'd rather it be like one of those things where you use it, and it works until you use it again or something like that. Behold the throne of the great sorrow, the Manslayer. But there are rumors of some cheeky scoundrels trying to unseat our lord. Not you, I hope. You wouldn't be hiding anything, would you? <laughs> uh, no, probably not. You can trust us. We're, we're good. We won't hurt you. Okay, yeah, I don't want to do that just yet. At least I don't think I do. I don't know. I don't know this castle like the back of my hand. Like I said... In previous episodes, this kind of, this part of the game right here is very foggy to me. I don't remember a lot of it. Is there anything out here? Other than a secret passage going down. In fact... Okay, no more treasures on this floor. That definitely helps. What's over here? Aha! Chest! The Seat of Magic. Very nice. Ooh, and we get a Tempest Shield. What's this about? can use it like an item in battle and bring a devil of a wind to bear. Okay, so it casts like a wind spell, probably like whoosh or swoosh or something. Just Sophie and Ragnar? That's it? Wow. Yeah, I was thinking maybe Kyriel could equip it, but yeah, it's better for Ragnar, I think. No, actually, it's not. Or it might be, I don't know. It's better defense, but the Dragon Shield protects against uh, Breath Attacks, so I don't know if I'm going to use that right now. I don't know, I'm going to have to look up if there's any additional effects that the Tempest Shield has that I don't know about. Because, yeah, I actually did find that out about the... Uh, not for Ragnar. What did I find that out about? Yeah, I, I found that out about the Zenithian shield that actually does pr uh, help protect against breath attacks. But it doesn't fucking say that in the strategy guide I'm using, which is retarded. So, yeah, the only thing it, I think it says is it, it, you can use it as a tool and that's it. It doesn't say that it has any other special effects besides that. But yeah, that mimic uh, didn't stand a chance.
Uh, so I guess we gotta go this way now. No, I was trying to go left. Food turn about. Oh, through there. Right. Uh, anyways, yeah, we're gonna come down this way. Who knows step guard? You know step guard, Mina? You don't know step- who the- safe passage. Okay, that's Maya's spell. For some reason I think she's the only character that gets it. Okay, and we got a kamikaze bracer. I don't understand that gravestone, but okay. Ah. So, how the fuck do we leave? How do we leave? I guess we just gotta leave the, the place entirely and start from the beginning again. Ah. Come on, quit giving me bullshit. No, I don't want to be a bunny girl. Ugh. No, I don't want to be a muscly man. Okay. Whatever these are, these, these things. What are these things? Okay. On my way. <clears throat> All right. Let's go in here. Find out what the hubbub is. Actually, better yet, so we're not found out right away. Turn me into another monster. Okay. No, we're skeletons. Yeah, that's what most people are saying. Apparently they are. Your places are here next to mine. Sit down and wait in silence after you've greeted everyone. Lord Sorrow will grace us with his presence once everyone is seated. Yep, so I guess if you were playing the uh, DS version of the game and were confused and didn't know what to do next, you could do party talk and find out from your party members exactly what you need to do. And I think that's just sit down right here, I think. Or maybe just go this way. Can I sit down? Okay, I did talk to everybody. What the fuck? Uh, hello? Game? Can I, like, fucking get on with it here? Okay, there we go. Man, I... That doesn't make any sense. Silence the mighty sorrow of the manslayer will soon be among us.
You know, I just thought of something. Sorrow, to me, kind of looks like Sephiroth from Final Fantasy VII. Not that that's really a bad thing, to, to be quite honest. I mean, my my beefs with Sephiroth aren't aesthetic. They're basically his personality and his, his goofy mother complex that he has. To Mammon? You mean the Mammon Mine? I guess that's where we find out where we gotta go next. Yeah, the arrow of monster kind. All right, so I guess we're gonna be zooming somewhere close to uh, the mammon mine, which would be. Yeah, the Havre Leon, I think that's like the closest, closest place to it. And we'll be going there in the next episode. This is Veteran 0 and 2-1. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.